Hey everybody, it's Miss Wingert and I'm here to read you Auntie Uncle Drag Queen Hero, written by Ellie Royce, illustrated by Hannah Chambers, with an introduction by Marty Gould Cummings. Okay, this is a beautifully made book. We are going to first read the introduction. Auntie Uncle is a story that speaks to my heart and my family. I have 20 nieces and nephews between my two brothers, kids, and my husband's siblings' children. Being an Auntie Uncle is so special because I can show my nieces and nephews a world they may not have been exposed to otherwise. Drag is an art form that is rooted in activism and protest, a way to show the world that being different is beautiful. Drag is anything you want it to be. In this story, for Leo, it means putting on a gorgeous wig and gown and singing his favorite songs as Lotta. There are no rules. Drag is simply a way to express yourself. Drag is a way to bring people together in times of joy and triumph and a way to bring people together in community. For me, drag is about spending love and kindness, spreading love and kindness and being an auntie uncle. I get to do that and so can you. Okay, let's start the story. I love my uncle Leo. He is good at math and he checks my numbers. He works in the city checking other people's numbers. I love my auntie Lotta. She sings and dances with me. On weekends, she sings and dances with her drag queen friends. Sometimes Auntie Lotta is Uncle Leo, and sometimes Uncle Leo is Auntie Lotta. It's fun to have an auntie and an uncle who are the same person. One weekend, we went to see Auntie Lotta and her friends sing and dance in a big parade. While we were watching them, something happened. Nobody saw it, except Auntie Lotta. <gasps> oh, she saved the puppy. Then everybody saw it. <gasps> the mayor went to give Auntie Lotta an award. He put an article in the paper and invited us to a special party. Oh, dear, said Uncle Leo. Who will accept the award, Leo or Lotta? I want all my friends to come to the ceremony. Leo's friends from work have never met Lotta, and they might be surprised to see her. But Lotta saved the puppy, and her friends would be are so excited for her she has to be there i thought it over hmm why can't you both accept the award i said i've never been both of me at the same time before said uncle leo that would call for a super fierce look i'll help i said so we tried different outfits that were a little bit Leo and a lot Lotta and a little bit Lotta and a lot Leo and a little bit of both. At last, the mix was just right. What do I call you now? I asked. How about Auntie Uncle? Ladies first and all that, said Auntie Uncle. City Hall was full of people. Look, there are Leo's friends from work, I whispered. And there are Lotta's friends. Oh, dear, said Auntie Uncle. Oh, dear. I put my hand into Auntie Uncle's and squeezed it tight. For saving the lives of many innocent bystanders at the risk of their own, we award the medal to Leo Lotta Bigheart, said the mayor. City Hall was very, very quiet and very, very still. Oh, dear, sighed Uncle Auntie or Auntie Uncle, very, very softly. Suddenly, Lotta's friends started to clap. Leo's friends started to cheer. They stood up clapping and cheering together. Then everybody stood up clapping and cheering. After the presentation, Leo's friends and met Lotta's friends. They were very, very polite. I thought perhaps they wouldn't like each other until Auntie Uncle showed them the medal for bravery. After that, they clapped and cheered again. They drank tea and ate cake. They talked about math and about singing and how much they liked my Auntie Uncle. I love Uncle Leo. He still checks my numbers. I love Auntie Lotta. She still sings and dances with me. But I think maybe I love my Auntie Uncle. The best of all. The end. Thanks for reading with me, everybody. That was a great story.